This week in Jamaica Now. Cops implicated in the death of Mario Dean charged. Manhunt launched for gunmen who killed cop in August Town. University students welcome funding boost to the Students' Loan Bureau. The details of these and other stories coming up after the break. Reach anyone anywhere in the world with the Gleaner Online. Rich media, interactive banner ads, dynamic pay drops. Increase, target, track. I'm Carlene Brown and this is Jamaica Now. The three cops charged in connection with the death of Mario Dean have each been granted $400,000 bail. Corporal Elaine Stewart, District Constable Marlon Grant and Woman District Constable Juliana Clevon were granted bail when they appeared before the Montego Bay Resident Magistrates Court Friday. All three are charged with manslaughter, attempting to pervert the course of justice and misconduct of a public office. Mario Dean died in hospital on August 6 from injuries he received from an alleged beating at the Barnett Street Police Station in Montego Bay, St. James. A manhunt has been launched for three alleged gang members who shot and killed police constable James Grant. Constable Grant is the first member of the Jamaica Constabulary Force to be killed this year. He was a part of a police team which was on operation in the African Gardens community in August Town. The police reported that men armed with heavy weapons opened fire on the team, shooting Constable Grant and injuring another member of the police party. The killing has been strongly condemned by the government, the opposition and civil society groups. The police say they have deepened their probe into the death of former senior superintendent of police, Dathan Henry. Recently, a coroner's jury ruled that while it found that the former senior cop was systematically poisoned, there was not enough evidence to find someone criminally responsible. The seven-member jury handed down an open verdict, which means the matter should be further investigated by the authorities. Meanwhile, the family of the late senior cop have expressed disappointment with the outcome of a coroner's inquest into his death. Roxanne Henry, SSP Henry's brother and the family spokesperson, says relatives will be closely watching the situation as they believe someone should be prosecuted for his death. The conspiracy trial of convicted murderer Vibes Cartel has been put on hold pending his appeal. Cartel, fellow entertainer Gaza Slim and music producer Andre Henry were to go on trial next month, but last week the director of public prosecutions filed documents in court adjourning the case. The DPP says she decided to put the case on hold in the interest of justice. She says she will revisit the matter and determine in the interest of justice the best course to be adopted at that stage in relation to the status of this case. People's National Party President Portia Simpson Miller is expressing confidence that her party will be able to secure victory in local government elections due by next year. Addressing delegates at the party's annual conference last Sunday, Mrs. Simpson Miller poured scorn on the opposition Jamaica Labour Party's criticism that her administration has been passing international monetary fund tests while failing the people's tests. Mrs. Simpson Miller insisted Jamaicans are in a better position than they were when her administration took over from the JLP. The Prime Minister argued that investor confidence has been improving dramatically, attracting $54 billion in investments in the past two years, particularly in the tourism sector. She also noted that the country's debt was declining along with unemployment, which has dropped from over 16 percent to 13.6 percent. The Jamaica Council of Churches says it will be reviewing thoroughly a bill which was passed last Tuesday in the House of Representatives which paves the way for flexi-work arrangements in Jamaica. Church leaders had been concerned that while the proposed law allows for freedom of worship, it was not specific enough as the employer can still determine what days of the week the employee can be off work. Head of the Council, Reverend Gary Harriet, says it is happy with the bill as it appears that the legislation has taken into consideration most of the concerns of the church. So far, based on the clips, it seems as if the major concerns that we have put forward have been addressed. What is a little technical is for persons who observe a Sabbath, like the Seventh-day Adventists, etc., because one of the issues that we're concerned about and pushing for is that the rest day be a 24-hour period, because for those who observe a Sabbath, the Sabbath begins Friday evening. To Saturday evening. So it is not just 8 to 5. 
but it is sunset to sunset. However, Reverend Harriet says the church has lingering concerns about what the flexi-work arrangements will mean for the culture of Jamaica with the likely erosion of the traditional weekend. The Guild of Students of the Mona campus of the University of the West Indies, UWI, has welcomed news that additional funds have been allocated for the cash-strapped Students Loan Bureau, SLB. President of the UWI Mona Guild of Students, Lerone Leng, says the panic and concern of hundreds of students will now be eased. We do hope that in the future, however, we do not have to find ourselves in this situation or this position where a scrambling has to be um, in place to, to locate funds for the SLB, but a more permanent solution, a more comprehensive reform can look at not only the SLB, but the entire funding of tertiary education issue um, can, be, can, be, can be resolved in a, in a meaningful way. Lang has warned that the authorities should not allow the scrambling for funds this year to be repeated in the future. He further stresses that a sustainable policy on the funding of tertiary education in Jamaica needs to be developed. And that's it for this edition of Jamaica Now, your weekly review of the big news stories. Send us your comments and online feedback at gleanerjm.com. You may tune in to Power 106 FM for regular updates. Follow us on Twitter at Jamaica Gleaner and on Facebook at Gleaner Jamaica. I'm Carlene Brown, and as we go, we bring you pictorial highlights from the Governing People's National Party's 76th Annual Conference at the National Arena.